I'm gonna share with you a super quick, healthy and affordable summer recipe and it's celebrating frozen peas. They're really affordable, they're frozen so you waste very little. So I'm gonna show you the most delicious sweet pea pesto pasta. It's so good, it comes together in under 15 minutes and it's a real family favorite. So let me show you what to do. Big pan of water on the boil. I've got here some frozen peas, fantastic source of vitamin C. So we're gonna get that into a little sieve like that. And obviously frozen peas also count as one of your five fruit and veg a day. Pop this in the water just for one minute, just to take the frozen kind of vibes out, give them a light little cook. I'll take them out and put them there. So season your boiling water. We're gonna go in with four portions of fafali pasta. You can use whatever pasta you want. And that will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Put the lid back on and take it off as soon as it comes to the boil. Okay, so we have these peas here. First up, I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it to one side to put in at the last minute so it tells the story nicely. I'm gonna now make a version of a pesto. Now, look, we all know the classic Genovese style pesto, which is basil, pine nut, parmesan, you know, garlic, stuff like that. But actually across Italy, there's many, many hundreds and hundreds of different pestos from different herbs, different cheeses, different nuts. So I'm gonna take that kind of innovation and kind of mix it up with some sunflower seeds, about one quarter of a clove of garlic. Why do I need so little? Because it's pungent, it's really strong. And I'll whiz this up in seconds. And, and by kind of breaking them up, you kind of release their flavor. Now classically, you might see pine nuts used, but you can use almonds, you can use hazelnuts. Go in with these peas. Peas are fantastic, so nutritious. Then I'm gonna add half a bunch of basil, not just the pretty leaves, but we'll also go in with the stalks as well. I've got some lemon here. Just take the zest off. You know, it's summertime. It's just nice, fragrant flavors. So this goes in. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go in with some cheddar cheese. Definitely not classic. But I think what I like about this is it's showing how kind of flexible the concept of a pesto is. It can be better for your baskets, better for your wallets, full of the good stuff and super delicious. Add yourself about two tablespoons of olive oil. So just waz that up. Just scrape the sides like that, and salt and pepper can go in. Also, not classic, but I like it, especially at summertime, just a little squeeze of lemon juice. Half a lemon will be really refreshing and really delicious. One last little whiz up. It's getting really creamy. Mix it up, have a little taste. Oh, wowzers. So, we're about three minutes away on the pasta. So we're gonna put the broccoli into this water now. Just cut those little fleurettes off like that. In my family, the kids absolutely love broccoli. So I'm just gonna take the stalk and slice it up. We don't wanna waste anything. That goes in the water as well. Two minutes of boiling and then we'll drain it. So, just two minutes. We don't wanna overcook the beautiful broccoli. Just drain that in the colander. And while it's still draining, save some of that water, really precious, starchy water. Save that because we're gonna mix with the pasta and the pesto. Just go in with that lovely pesto. Look at those colors, full of the good stuff. If you wanna break some of the broccoli up, you can. It doesn't matter if it mushes. And then what you want is a nice, elegant, light pasta like that. If it needs a bit more water, just feed it with a little bit more of that boiling water from the cooking. Beautiful, look at the color. Vivid green, smells amazing. Check the seasoning with salt and pepper. If you want a little bit more cheese and olive oil, you can. That little bit of frozen pea at the beginning, I'm just gonna put back in so it tells the story of the peas visually. So just mix that through and when you're happy, let's celebrate it on a nice big platter. Look at that. Imagine that any time of year, but especially in the summery months. Gorgeous, simple pasta, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, full of color and all done in under 15 minutes and less than a pound a portion. It's pretty good going. Right, let's have a little try. You can see it's a nice, generous portion. Mmm, come on. Delicious, a family favorite that's healthy, super affordable, making a big deal out of an old friend, frozen peas. 
delicious. If you want me to do anything else for you, or if you have a challenge or a question, simply put it in the comments box below, and I will do my very best to make that my next video. Take care.